Hello everybody, it's Adam. Uh, going to give a couple minutes to see if anybody jumps on here. Today, I, I've been promising to do a walkthrough to some people on my brand new Bonafide SS 127 uh, fishing kayak. So that's what we're going to do. Just it's going to be a pretty quick ride. Hey, Caro. Thanks for coming. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to, so this video can hopefully be uh, better for you guys. My son, Wyatt, is going to be my cameraman. Put him to work. And then uh, we're going to try to do our best. We don't have any fancy uh, camera equipment. This is just my iPhone. But we're going to do our best to provide you guys the best video. And uh He's going to relay if there's any questions about something. Feel free to ask, and he's definitely going to. So we definitely want to answer your questions. Kara says hi. All right, I'm going to uh, switch you around. We'll get you on to the. All right, sorry, it was leaving my house. Here, hopefully we're good. It. Give me a second, guys. Let me. All right, that should be good. Uh, I'm outside in my backyard. Can everybody see and hear me now? Everybody got me now, Caro. My back. Hello, Blossom. Hello, Becky. This ought to be interesting. Caro, you still in here? Dave. All right. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, uh, let's see if we can get rid of. We're gonna remove a couple of these people from the live. I just don't feel like they're part of the... Alright. Alright, yes. Uh, so, sorry about the connection thing. Um, it's because I'm outside, so it was trying to go in between my Wi-Fi and then my cell service, so I just shut Wi-Fi off. Um, Alright, we moved a couple... Yeah, Caro. I, I, it's a problem. We just removed them from chat. No problem. Alright, anyways, you guys don't want to hear about that. Let's look at a kayak. Let me flip you around here. All right. So we're just going to start at the back. Everything on here is factory. A couple accessories that I've added. I'll point those out. One unique thing right away was on there, the handle. It's actually on a hinge, and then it's got an elastic band. Uh, so it keeps it up there nice and nice and tight. And if you guys can look down the hull design, it's channeled almost like a pontoon boat. Can they see that, Wyatt? Yes. Um, so what that has offered us is I've already had this on the water in the river. Now, you, nobody's ever gonna beat the current of the river, but this boat tracks very nice. And what? Somebody says you look cute. Okay, so you can just hit on them and who is it? Just a random name? Yeah. I uh, just hit the, hit on them and just remove them. Okay. If you see stuff like that, just remove them. It's the Russian bots. They're not in, in, interested in kayaks. Interested in you. But anyways, um, I can say without a doubt on the river that this thing tracks very well. Uh, it's very easy to maneuver. But anyways, uh, if we move, keep moving on. From the factory, you have a uh, power pole. Uh, connection if you if that's something if you wanted to put that on later down the road you know for anchoring i will not this is actually going to be the start the mounting place for my um anchor wizard if if you guys aren't familiar with anchor wizard uh they're for kayak it's actually a really cool thing your anchor sits back here in a chute and then you'll have a handle up there you just spin it and it lets the anchor out you spin it the other way and it pulls it back up never touching your boat no damage to the hull or anything like that any, are we good so far? Any questions? All right. If you move along, pretty standard. This is just your uh, an access panel if you were to do some wiring and things. Um, the boat came comes pre-installed, and I'll point them all out. So it has yak, yak attack tracks all built in. Um, this is the yak attack box. This is a separate purchase it doesn't it is not included uh but something that's really cool like i said this is designed by fishermen 
most of the yak attack uh, stuff has these uh, connections right here and in the elastic in the back they've already built in clips for an aftermarket box so i didn't have to add anything additional i just added i threw my box in there um and i'll show you this is kind of cool too it's the details that i like in products is what i look at it, it shows how much and well thought this thought out design was so i'm gonna set this down here if you look this padding this gray padding is all throughout but right here you can see they actually cut a channel out because they know we're going to they know that fishermen are going to put a box back here or a crate or a milk crate or whatever so that was already caught out uh next we move forward we're getting up to the chair these two uh things here clip on the chair and i'll show why they're there in a moment but all this is all built in everything here if i'm not using the elastic cords i've got little uh clips over here to help keep it stowed i have another uh channel dude don't make them sick going back and forth but um now here's the chair typical chair but the nice thing about this one is you can let me unclip it here this is the chair that comes with it you can adjust uh it's got straps so you can actually adjust to some degree the lumbar you can adjust uh, how tight the actual seat is, if you want that firm or sag a little bit, depending on your comfort level. It's very easy to, if you wanna go into a high position, this would be uh, the high. Um, and then they, the idea is while you're fishing, uh, you can go from high to low. I can't do it because I'm not there, but you pull this and because it has tension on the back by those cords it would allow me to quickly drop my chair down into a lower position so you have several different settings on the chair um you can set it to however you want uh one thing i would recommend on this particular kayak let me unclip it here when you're transporting it you definitely want to take the seat out there's nothing real substantial holding it. There's no straps or locks or anything on it. And I'm just going to keep that out so we can look at some different things. Um, but, so yeah, I would definitely recommend removing it. Caro, are you still here? I'm going to give her a second to respond. Did, how many people are in? Uh, three, what does it say? It's up in the corner. Just three. Okay. Well, Caro, if you're still here, these are the straps we were talking about the other day. You remember I was showing you? You notice how that, remember that nice flat surface is pushing against the hull, no scratches. And somebody was kind of worried about the scratching of the metal. If you notice how that material, here, get down there so you can see that. There's material right there on the hull where that strap hits. And then that metal hits that material. So I just wanted to show you, Caro, those action, or those in action, because I know we were talking about it a little bit, but anyways, back to the kayak. So let me just start right here. You have, this is a built-in uh, paddle uh, storage. So if you're not using your paddle, you just lay it here, clips in, uh, that's kind of common on a lot. You have more padding here. Uh, this is all padding for your chair so it moves these are so this is the first complaint or negative i have about this boat i'm, I'm just gonna be honest i bought this with my own money i'm not sponsored by uh the company that sold it to me i'm not sponsored by bonafide i am a consumer and this is my opinions the design here this is so if you can show them this wyatt Moving this lever back and forth is what locks the chair and unlocks it. So when I push this up, it locks over the bar of the chair. The problem is this piece right here is not connected. There's no bolt or anything that goes through there. So on this side, on this side, on that side, thank you. Uh, 
I don't know if it got torqued in shipment, but the, the this is spaced out. It's been bent. So it's very easy for the connection to pop out. The good thing is um, the, the I bought it in Homosassa River uh, or River Sports kayaks. So they're going to, um, they've already contacted uh, Bonafide. They're sending me out a new one. They're pretty sure that they had another canoe or something sitting on top of it. And that's why we have the issues we have. So, question? Uh, yes, Adam has asked, where do you keep the alligator spear? The alligator spear has not been installed yet. I'm debating if I would like one that would be mounted to the uh, bow and then has like a chain or something. So, you know, crank them back in. Or if you go back to here, I do have two paddle storages on i am one on either side so i could easily mount a spear right there hope that helps you out adam so here's another cool thing that i really liked about this kayak when i started looking into them is move this they have this right here this is a junk drawer so as i was fishing the other day i'm taking off my taking off my lures, changing baits, or, you know, I had to pull a plastic off because it's ripped, whatever. I just threw it under the junk drawer. That's what I used it for. But the unique thing about it is, there, if you can show them this, Wyatt, there's actually just a little nut right there. I can spin it, and the drawer slides out. They've also designed it, if you can see these ridges right here, I can lay the handle of a rod and if you look forward to the hull, they call this a staging area. So it's designed to hold rods um, and get them staged for you. So that's the junk drawer. But here's what I've been using it for. Caro, you're gonna remember this item, a little retractable thing with my pliers. Um, I took the pliers off because my youngest son got a uh, sexy dog lure caught in his shorts and, and I had to get him out the other night. But anyways, I want to show you guys, if you've never seen the track, how it works. All the Yak Attack stuff has this T-bolt at the bottom and you just line, and if you see, there's a square. That just lines in that square and Oh, I didn't tie, I'm loose. And you just slide it. And now, tighten it down. This is installed. Now, the downside is in this particular configuration, I obviously could not slide the drawer out while I'm using it, but so far I haven't seen a need for it for me. Uh, the chair sits up high enough. I just uh, throw my whatever in there, my lures that I'm done with. Uh, and then when I get it back, by then they're dry. And then I can put it back in my tackle box. This is the other item I got. And I just wanted to show this to Caro. This was that cup holder um, from Yak Attack. Same thing, Caro. It just slides when you loosen it up enough. Well, Adam has asked, did you get a cell phone case slash holder? No, Adam. Uh, uh, no, Adam, I will be buying uh, the Rogue Gear uh, 3.0, I think that's what they call it. Um, it attaches to your uh, vest with a lanyard or, yeah, a leash, and then it's rubber, so it's designed to clip on all four corners of the phone. So the only way that phone's going in the water is if I'm going in the water with it. But uh, this is the cup holder, Caro. This is the configuration. I had it in the other day. It worked out pretty well for me. Um, get my uh, bottle right there. Now it's good to go. We're going to move on. If you look, um, there's a lot of padding on the floor on both sides. Uh, excuse the water, it just rained here. Um, this is the first time I ever stood up fishing from a kayak. I was very nervous at first, not even going to lie. This is such a stable platform. I didn't ever felt like the it wasn't rocking, it wasn't tippy. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I moved, it moved. But I was floating down the river's current, um, casting, doing what I was doing, 
and never had a problem. And for me personally, I found it was very easy to get up and down out of the chair. Uh, after a couple times, I was very comfortable, very confident. I wasn't going to fall. So good job, Bonafide. But yeah, the padding is very comfortable on your feet. Uh, it is, um, I, I guess the word I would use is somewhat textured. It gives you a little bit of grip, kind of like maybe the little ducks in your shower. But a couple other interesting things they, they've added. We have some more Yak Attack rails. So you have one of these longer ones on each side. And then you have two front ones. I think they, in their mind, this was going to be a mount for a computer screen. But this is where everything I've showed you so far for the most part, with the exception of maybe the junk drawer, is all standard kayak stuff. Here's where I think Bonafide started really thinking about the angler and some unique things that I find on their kayaks. So, every kayak has a dry storage box in the middle, or of some sort, usually. This one's no different. And I've already showed you guys this, so I'm not going to go... But there's your hatch. Uh, the first time I took it out, I had my keys thrown in here, my wallet, just basic stuff. The cool thing about this is the way they designed it, the idea is... I'm going to put my, the, the thought process is I'm going to put my electronics in there, my battery, all the wiring and everything. Underneath it, I'm going to wire up the transducer for my fish finder. And I'm going to mount my fish finder screen right to the top. Because here's the cool thing. When I'm done fishing for the day, remember, all my electronics are in here. My screen's already mounted to there. There is nothing, um, my transducer's on the bottom. So when I'm done fishing, I have everything right here, including my screen on top. And I can put this in my Jeep while I drive. I can lock it up. I can bring it in my house. Also, depending on how your battery is, uh, you know, you can just open this up, you know, take your screen off. I can open it up and now I can charge my battery for the next trip. That would, they designed this for the fish finder. I mean, that's how they promote it. If you even look at the bottom, it's in the transducer shape um, to mount to that. The cool thing about these pods, you drill into it or you, whatever. They, you can buy just the pods. And the, there are people out there that have these and they're set up for different, you know, maybe it's not fish finders, but they'll have them set up for whatever body of water they're on. They're like, okay, I need my river pod. They drop it in. And it's real simple to drop it in. It just goes in the hole. You got a front piece here that's rubber. It just clips in like that. And then back here, White's going to show you. It just, uh, you just spin this all locked in. Here's something else that's really unique. So these foot pegs are adjustable. They're put on uh, aluminum tracks. Feel, they're really beefy. But the cool thing is, you can adjust them like anything else, but if you flip them the other way, there's a switch track there. They build a rudder that connects that connection point in the back I showed you for a power pole. And then once you wire the rudder, these are designed to go back and forth, kind of like an airplane. And that way you can control the rudder. It's already built into the foot pedals. You just make the connection. It's nothing I was ever going to do, but uh, it's there. We still doing good on questions? Cool. As, as we move forward to the hull, here's something else unique they did. So every hull, for the most part, has some type of hatch. Just opens up to a gigantic hull. Right now I have my life vest in there and I have my paddle sword in there. Um, eventually, my battery will be in there and all my power source and everything. So nothing unique about the hole. You got a water seal, so it's pretty, I wouldn't use the word waterproof, water resistant. Um, but here's, here's where I think that they thought through. So in the boat, I'm out fishing. I can access my hole just like any other kayaker brand out there. No problem. Good to go. Closes just like the little dry pat just clips in but if white follows me around 
I can also open it from the front while it's on my trailer where it's more convenient and load everything in. And I'm gonna take my paddles out here real quick to maybe. Oh, it's because I set that in there. I just need one paddle. But it's, it's really, I mean, it's such a simple idea, but it makes a lot of sense to be able to load because this is on my trailer and it's more natural and easier to load from this direction. But on my boat, when I'm actually utilizing it, it makes more sense to go from this way. A couple other things up here on the bow. So the way they designed this front bow, there is a mount that you can get. Um, and you can put a trolling motor on here. They, and what a lot of people do is they run all their, like I said, their electronics, they'll drill in here, their power cable comes right out or everything's contained in here underneath and all they have out is, is their cords. But once again, if I screw this top up, I can replace just that top. So they thought about it. The other thing is, and I don't know how well you guys are gonna see it, but if I don't have my paddle stored in those uh, paddle leashes up there or paddle storage areas, what I did the whole time is I take my whole paddle and they designed it this way. They have this piece of rubber and you just slide it up under there and it holds it while you're doing whatever. So I don't have to mess with, um, you know, I'm doing clips and everything. My paddle is very quickly accessible. If uh, I had my paddle and I was adjusting, you know, my, but my rod was out and I needed a, a set of hook, I could quickly stow my paddle. It's safe, it's not coming off the boat and we're good to go. So. And then nothing super fabulous on the front, just your typical handle. And that's the basic walkthrough at my Bonafide. I'm gonna take the camera from Wyatt and talk to you guys for a second and then let you all go. All right. There you go. Ah, uh, that's how and where. Uh, yeah, Adam, it's definitely a good dry hatch. Uh, it was well thought out. This was definitely made for anglers. I know a lot of companies that make like um, boats, then they'll make an angling version. And I'm not knocking any company, that's not what I do. But they take a, an existing platform and then they put a couple of fishing rod holders on it and they call it an angling boat. Uh, yeah, the, it, this thing is insane, Adam. There is a lot of uh, features, it's very smart. And like I said, it's well thought out. Kara says, thank you, Wyatt. Caro is also a fellow scout leader. He gave a thumbs up. One thing I learned the other day, though, I'd like to, anybody watching this, even if you're watching the replay and you're thinking about a bona fide and you're doing all your research, this is something I learned the other day. And I, I want to share. So there's a lot of companies out there. I know Native makes the sidekick. I think Wilderness makes a version. Whatever. There's a lot of versions of carts that will go into these tracks and that's what i was going to buy super convenient good to go and this is coming from not the guy that sold me boat the guy that sells the boats to the dealership the the sales rep these are not reinforced underneath they're just screws that are holding this in they do not have the support underneath to take the weight of those wheels when once they're loaded down with the kayak so Essentially, what he told me is if somebody is to put the style of cart on the back of this, like I was about to do because I was looking at ease, it will flex and actually can crack the hull of this. And keep in mind, Bonafide, to my knowledge, is somehow associated with native canoes or kayaks. They're, they're under the same umbrella family campy, or company. The Sidekick Native is made by them which means if they sell it they all make the money and they're telling you not to use their product which is that's a good thing that's a responsible thing for a, a company to do so definitely don't use that um, i'm glad that uh, i found some honest people that cared more about customer service than making a hundred bucks or whatever it was i will most likely be buying the yak attack cart when it comes out because 
simply it is designed to fold down so small I can slide it into my hatch um, in the front there. So anyways, uh, anybody got any questions before I jump off here? Anybody? Did I lose everybody? Am I now talking to myself? It's okay. Give you guys a second here. All right, I don't see anybody else. Uh, sorry about the internet connection at the beginning. I didn't think about the Wi-Fi. Um, I've got a scupper holes to use as a cart that fit in those. So, Kara, the problem with uh, the scupper hole carts, uh, appreciate the tour. No problem, Dave. Um, what I've learned through my research is that it wears those, uh, by having those through those pegs through there, it wears those holes out and eventually you can start to crack the scupper holes. And then they're really the only repair, no matter who the manufacturer is, is to take it back to the manufacturer and have them redo the plastic in that area. Uh, <laughs> it's all right, care about being slow, but, um, that's just what I've read. I'm not an expert. I'm not a salesman. You do what works for you. Like I always say, but my beard is sticking out today. The humidity is crazy and kind of looking like a rabbi, but anyways, but Hey guys, I really appreciate y'all coming on and we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.